Hi, my name is Neil Darling and uh, today I'll be tying for you a, a wet fly, a may fly pattern that's uh, in the wet fly style. Um, maybe not as heavily dressed as some of the more traditional Irish patterns, but this one's really good for uh, clearer water and uh, river mayfly fishing as well. And the hook that I'm using is the uh, Freshwater 580 and this one is in a size 10. And it's just brown 80 uni thread as the tie in thread. So take the thread down the hook and I'm going to secure in some uh, pheasant tail fibres. Don't be too fussy about how many you take. I know there's only three tails on a mayfly but uh, I tend to put a few more on the patterns just to make it a little bit more, um, last a bit longer once you have managed to catch one or two trout. Just level them up a little. And again, it's one and a half lengths possibly um, beyond the sort of uh, the, the hook shank length. Again, whatever suits your eye, that's absolutely fine. And then just take the thread to roughly just about halfway between the point and the barb of the hook. And trim off. Next is the rib. And for the rib, it's just fine gold tinsel that I'm using to secure the body hackle. up a uh, little bit of dub and wax and I'm going to use Vicuna's uh, cream dubbing for the body of the mayfly and I'm going to dub twice once on the way down once on the way back up but again not too heavy Small pinches of dubbing, just uh, it goes onto the thread a lot easier. Cream dubbin's great under a dark thread because when the fly gets wet, the dark thread will show through a little bit as well, give it a bit of contrast to the, the body. There we go, perfect. And at the front I've left possibly about four or five mil of space because we're going to we're going to put two hackles in three hackles in fact the body hackle as well has to go in uh, for the body hackle I'm using a, a whiting cock hackle and this one I think is just red game sort of color Full wrap at the top, and then I can start to spiral down. And the, the contrast of the cock hackle colour against the cream tubbin gives a nice sort of rib effect, segment effect to the body. 
strap with the tinsel and work the tinsel through. A little wiggle with the tinsel will help to avoid trapping too many fibres, but again, don't be too fussy. Doesn't really matter. Tend not to scissor cut, just a, a little pull back is fine on that body hackle. It just gives you a cleaner finish. And then we can trim off at the front. Tidy up a little bit. Uh, next hackle going in is the Whiting Brahma Hen um, and this one is a really nice sort of sooty olive colour just again for me seems to work nicely on this pattern just prep the feather up myself a tie-in in point. And the last one is a golden olive French partridge hackle. And again, fibres just want to be a little bit longer in the finish than the Brahma hen that you've just put on. And again, traditional Irish mayfly patterns will be a lot bigger than this. They'll use a lot more feather to sit higher in the water, but this one's more designed for clear river fishing. Process. Just take your time, move the fibres where you want them to be, gently pinch them in the direction that you want them to travel or wrap.
finish. Sometimes running your dubbing brush through can just help you settle those, those hackle fibres down a little bit. Loads of movement anyway. And then just a little bit of head cement to finish off. And that's a wet fly, mayfly wet, that you could use in the rivers. And even with a little bit of gink underneath, you might be able to use it as a little bit of a, a dry fly as well. Thank you.